I just talked up, but I don't have time to look around. I just need to get a fungicide. This is what I need. This used to be like only $5. Now it's like $10. Hi everyone, it's Marianne and today we're gonna do a planter vlog and I actually haven't seen my plants in almost two weeks. I know I didn't travel, I didn't go on vacation. I would share why in a couple of weeks maybe but so yeah so now I'm going back and going to check on my plants and see how they did while I'm gone and do some plant chores. So yeah let's go. Okay, so here is the plants. Not too bad. I could already see like a little bit of casualty with the jade satin. <sighs> see this one still full of mealy bugs. So I really like to spray it with the thingy. And this one looks like somebody watered it at least. And then the skeleton key puzzles, my very costume. This one hasn't like unfurled yet when I left. And oh my god, this one is dead. The crystallinum, the old choker red. I was worried about that one, but thank god that looked fine. But yeah, I just need to water everything and spray it with fungicide. Honestly, I'm a little bit overwhelmed, don't know what to start, but I think I'll tackle the smaller plants first because they need water the most. So I'm gonna do that. And of course I got distracted and did something else. So I saw the bigger plants that I had downstairs and they required my attention more immediately. So I decided to tackle them, especially like the fiddle of fig. I give it like water right away and I gave it whatever water I had left with a fertilizer and went on to check with the other plants um, down here. So the worst of the bunch is definitely the avocado. Honestly, not my favorite plant. I tried to get rid of this plant so many times, so I don't understand why I got so upset seeing its condition, but it's a plant that I did grow from seeds. So the mango dropping leaves, but I'd expect that like over winter. So I just went ahead, watered the ficus audrey, and also gave the fiddle of fig a little bit more water since the one that I gave it initially wasn't enough. So just making sure they have enough water for them and I also proceeded to water the thematophyllum and also the mango tree and the thematophyllum always love a lot of water so I make sure to give it a lot of water and same with the mango because it is a big tree and it does dry up pretty quickly so I want to make sure it has access to water and usually whatever water is on the tray, they would absorb it within one day. And here's the avocado I put in the sink and just like saw it's like covered with mealybugs and the soil is very dry. So I'm watering it. I took it outside to be able to spray it with a fungicide. Ideally, I would wipe each leaf down and check for pests thoroughly. But because I have so many plants to attend to right away, I just did what I could and spray it as much as I can. And prune some of the leaves and this is the monstera it's roots growing back like tiktok gave me so much grief about cutting the roots last time but the roots are growing back and just watered that one too and here i am pruning the leaves of the fiddle of fig the ones that are drooping i've been meaning to prune this fiddle of fig anyway i always prune it during winter i just never had a chance to until now so i pruned a bunch of leaves at the bottom Hopefully that will also help it not dry out too quickly since it has a lot less foliage to provide water and nutrients to. So I went downstairs and tackled the big plants first. And I mean, they could be worse, the fiddle of fig. It was obviously like the leaves are drooping, never happened before. I cut off, I pruned some of the leaves because I think it's just best since I'm gonna be gone for another two weeks before I can collect my plants. And the avocado plant, when I left, it was already like infested with, I don't know what, a combination of pests. So I took it out, sprayed fungicide on it, watered it too, and also pruned it a little bit because what's the point of keeping leaves full of pests? And then it was next to the thematophyllum and the mango. The mango was a little bit acting up. I kind of expected it. It always happens during winter. The thematophyllum has like white stuff in it. I hope it's not pests, but I just like sprayed 
both the mango and the thematophyllum with fungicide. And now let's tackle the plants that are in here. Let me put the smaller plants in here first because I know they have been like not watered at all. I mean, I think someone attempted to water it, but oh, look at that. I think this one has been watered, but I'm going to water it. the others again. Like this crystallinum hanging by a thread. It's so soft. The pink princess. I think I'm actually going to take this with me because I can't risk losing this plant. The brantianum and the splendid as well. Desperately need watering. And the cream splash. I actually might also bring this with me because I'm trying to like prune it. But I might be able to do it before I leave too. We will see. There's like some yellowing here already. I'm going to take that out. This marble queen pot is surprisingly doing well. This one dries up pretty quickly. Um, okay, so let me go get water and water them. Okay, so next I'm tackling the ones that are in the mini greenhouse. They seem fine, which is a good thing about the greenhouse. You could leave them for a couple of weeks and they'll be fine. But I'm going to water them because I don't know when I'm going to be able to water them again next. So, yeah. And you'll be like, Marianne, what is going on? Um, well, just rest assured that I'm okay, or will be, so that's a good thing about it, but I have held it for two weeks. Okay. Alright, let's water this too. So next is the old chocolate red. Glad it is thriving. And I just have to water it. I'm trying to work fast, but also I want to make sure I get everyone and everything. My syngonium, it definitely needs support. So I got this one. I haven't filled it up with Lekka or anything. I'm just going to use it as a support for this one. And I'm going to tie it up. I think I have some ties here. Okay, so I'm going to use a Velcro tape to tie that up. Again, this is just serving as a support. I didn't fill it up with like Lekka or Moss or anything. Um, and I could probably like prune this one at the bottom. And like that. Give it a cut. Oh shit. Let's try that again. So just like grab. Yeah, there we go. All right. oh, accidentally cut a couple of leaves, but it looks fine over there. Okay, I'm going to take this one down. So we're going to tackle the ones down here that needs to be in the bathtub and also the ones that I need to like treat with a fungicide. Alright, so these are the plants that need to be treated with fungicide along with epipenopinatum. The chia plants is okay. It's actually been recently watered and this ones just need to be watered. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to tackle all the hanging plants and I should be done. So only this four need like just watering, the rest, actually I'm going to grab the hanging plants too that need watering so I could just do it all together. There's Mustera Stelliana, I've been meaning to like do something about it because it has a little bit of root rot, not like anything crazy and luckily the varicosum is okay, it's not infected with like whatever path is going on among my plants. So I think you're good but I'm going to go grab the hanging plants so I could just like water them all together. So 
I'm going to let them drain out really quickly and then I'm going to bring in the plants that needs to be treated. I need to separate them so that, you know, these plants don't get infected. So this is my Tribii Moonlight Syndapsis. As you can see, it has runners. I'm pruning that. Even though it has like leaf growing out, I just, I don't like runners. So just cutting them off. This one, I guess, is okay. That one is okay. So, oh, I only had to cut one. But yeah, so I cut off runners so that it will remain compact and grow even better. I'm also trying to do laundry, so sorry if it's loud to hear it in the background. But these are the plants that are unfortunately has been infected with mealybug. It started with this Everpenna pinatum and it spread to everyone else and I really hate it, especially for like my prized plants like the silver hero and even my taboo blue pothos, which I'm kind of like really mad about. So I'm going to treat them and then do something about it. We will see. So either I like really go through the plant one by one and wash them off, which is going to take me a long time to do, or just spray them down and hope for the best. So I'm going to wash them down and see what happens. If I really have to, I'm going to like wipe it one by one, but hoping this one comes back. So the silver splash is not that bad, but I do need to make sure that it doesn't spread further. And it does have a couple of leaves that needs pruning like this one. Overall, I think it's good. I think the wash did it, but I'm still gonna spray it with fungicide. But I'm gonna put it aside so that anything else that I wash off don't fall in it. Same goes for the golden pothos. I think it's relatively okay, it just needs kind of like the silver splash, some maintenance and some like preventive measures because I do see a little bit but not a lot. So the worst one is this and the is this one and the skeleton seed pothos. The rest is not too bad, thank God. Um, but definitely gonna take some preventive measures. Just gonna go snip snip here and you see it has that pass. So I mean I might try to save that and um, propagate it, but I'm just gonna cut this one too because I don't have a pole yet for that. So I'm just gonna like propagate those. So I'm gonna go just spray them down and go to town with a fungicide. Starting starting with this. Let's see how quickly that acts. Kind of like pretty instant, like it went from white to brown pretty quick. get underneath as well because that's where they like to hide and 
I mean, for the longest time, I tried neem oil, and neem oil just wouldn't work for it. So, okay, so I'm just going to give it time to work. I'm not going to, like, wash it one more time before I put it back out, because it might get leaf burn or get more cosmetic damage if I just put them back out right now. But, okay. Okay, so I think I'm finally done with the plant chores. I've watered everything and there's a little bit of casualty, but it's okay. So the Stadliana is now in water. Hopefully that goes well. And I didn't water the Thicon because I think somebody did water it and I don't want to overwater it. So I just got to tell them like they no need to water my plants because I think they might overwater it and like the chia pants they did water so this one I treated with the fungicide hopefully it works and I was thinking of bringing the carry eye with me I'll see if not I'll just pick it up on Friday because I kind of want to do a Valentine's Day video with it but I'm just gonna bring this stuff now for the meantime so the silver hero I might do a propagation shorts on it and then I'm gonna put it up on Facebook marketplace for sale uh, I got the string of parts, the Hoya Care Alba Marginata, like for a Valentine's Day YouTube shorts. And then my Pink Princess Gold Dango, it's just because this one needs constantly watering and I don't want it to get dry. So I'm just going to bring it with me. And in this section, like in this table, I just have the plants that I treated with fungicide just to separate them with the rest of my plants. This three weren't really that bad. So the... And that's the silver hero, the silver, the silver lady, and the silver end. They weren't bad, but I did treat them with a fungicide, anyways, as well with the golden pothos and the silver splash. Not the this one. I just put it here to do a quick video because I got this from YouTube Shorts. I came and I saw a package came for me, and they sent this. It's really cute. The light is more red in person than it's coming off in camera, but I think it's just because it's still daylight, and it's a blue blue pothos too. So like every problem plant I'm putting it here just so they're not going to mix with my other plants. This one I still put under the table. Actually, I might put it under here. Actually, it's fine here. I am not, I turned off the grow light just so it doesn't dry out too quickly. It gets light from the sun anyways. And over here and some of the other plants I put over here. I was thinking of like bringing a plant back with me too. So I could do videos on it. But I don't think I need to. I think it's okay. So I'm just going to leave them here. I'll be back next week to check on them. And next week shouldn't be like a longer plant care than this. So we will see. Hi everyone. So it's the next day. And sorry if it's echoey. I'm filming inside the bathroom. It's such a gloomy day today that there's no good lighting anywhere else. And the best lighting I can find is in the bathroom. But yeah, overall, my plants did well yesterday when I go to check on them, even though I didn't see them for like almost two weeks. I think most of them did pretty good. There was some like I got a little bit frustrated with because they were infested with house plant pests. But like, you know, looking back, sleeping on it, it wasn't really that bad. And hopefully the fungicide works on them. I've used that before on my plants that have really stubborn pest issues, especially with mealybug, because sometimes neem oil doesn't really cut it anymore, and I've been trying to use just neem oil and soap to try to treat the pest issue, but it has been like a month, especially for the epipenum pinatum. So it's something that I probably should have used earlier so it didn't spread to more of my plants, but even the ones that it spread to the infestation, it's not that bad. The one that's really serious is the epipenum pinatum and the skeleton key pothos, which I plan to do something about them very soon as well because if they get, get keep infested, 
I might just get rid of those plants or just again do something about it and I'm going to check back on them again in a week or so but yeah so I will share definitely what's going on in a couple more vlogs but I, no matter what I'm not the type of person to like overshare but at the same time there are going to be changes in the channel that you're going to see so I kind of like want to share that a little bit in upcoming vlogs but I'm okay generally so don't worry about me um, but thank you to all the support and I definitely need your support more than ever and definitely am counting to your support this year and I would really really appreciate it but yes thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you're new here please do subscribe I come up with videos every week and if you haven't yet check out this videos up here until my next one but until then I see you I appreciate you take care of yourself and each other and have a plentiful day. Bye.